Hi everybody, this is Adriel here from Propedia. This channel is created to share in-depth research of projects all across Singapore. Today we'll be going into Avenue South Residence, where I'll be analysing the one-bedroom. Avenue South is a new luxury development located in District 3 at the fringe of the Central Business District along Silat Avenue. It is located minutes to the future Cantonment MRT station and will be part of the future Greater Southern Waterfront City where the Central Business District will be extended to in the future. With a total of 1,074 residential units ranging from the 1 to the 4 bedroom layouts, Avenue South Residence sits on a large plot of land of almost 250,000 square feet and will feature two high-rise towers of 56 storeys, offering unblocked views of the city. Part of the development will also feature four-storey blocks conserved, a childcare centre, eight commercial units, sky garden and multiple private function rooms. Let's look at the two factors you must take note of when purchasing a one-bedroom unit in Avenue South Residence. The first factor would be your entry timing. Being quite a huge development with 1,074 units, the developer strategy here is to increase the prices gradually as the supply becomes lesser. Let's take a look at the price movement of all the one bedrooms in Avenue South Residence. We can see that during the initial launch stage in September 2019, the average per square foot was $1,972. Following the charts movement, we see the prices gradually increase to its current stage at an average of $2,304 per square foot. To give you a better perspective, in the same stack, a 32nd floor unit was bought at $1.177 million in September 2019. Subsequently, the 31st floor unit, being one floor lower, was bought at $1.226 million in May 2021. That's an almost $50,000 difference for just one level. The entry timing is important in this instance as we are entering at the lowest price in the earliest stage. The second factor would be the level of your unit. For a high-rise project, we can experience quite drastic price difference from the low floor units to the high floor ones. I'm going to show you an example of price difference between the varying level of units. In the same stack, the 15th floor unit was sold at 1.109 million the 25th floor unit at 1.153, the 35th floor unit at 1.213 million, 45th floor at 1.307 million, and lastly, 55th floor was sold at 1.373 million. That's a total difference of 264,000 from the 55th floor to the 15th floor unit. The developer also separated the high-rise towers into two segments, which are the Horizon Collection, ranging from level 3 to 35th, and the peak collection from level 37 to 56. The peak collection is also differentiated through its quality of finishing, with higher end appliances and materials used. What can we tell from this is that buyers who are buying for own stay are normally more willing to pay a higher price for the higher floor units with better facing and quality finishing. The price difference, however, will matter for buyers who are looking for investment and buying the one bedroom to rent out. Here's a look at a nearby project at Skyline Residences. Looking at the one bedroom rental transactions, we can see a third floor unit rented out at $2,650 monthly and a 21st floor unit rented out at $2,500 monthly. It's important to note here that there will not be a huge difference to the rental we can command for a low floor unit compared to the high floor one. But as I show you from the earlier example, there is a price gap between the high floor and low floor unit. In conclusion, for buyers who are looking for investment, Avenue South one bedroom are currently left with the higher floor units from level 31st onwards. If you're looking to rent it out, the rental you you enjoy might not be as good as the lower level units due to the higher entry price. For buyers who are looking for own stay, there are still units available that are priced reasonably and in a similar range among all the high floor units in the same stack that have been transacted. The key is to ensure we do our research and to make sure that it is still a safe purchase. For the one bedroom homeowners who entered at the earlier stage, you should already be seeing some gains for your unit. 
you can consider selling your unit earlier once you cross your seller stamp duty. This is because we might see the majority of the one-bedroom homeowners selling and renting their unit upon TOP if they have bought it for investment. This will cause stiff competition for your sale and rental price. This is the end of my analysis on the one bedroom in Avenue South residences. If there are any other projects you would like us to review on, do leave us a comment. Lastly, if you found this video useful for you, do like and subscribe to our channel to be kept updated with more new analysis. I'm Adriel and I will see you soon.